Hey, welcome back to another episode of iDubs TV. Uh, iDubs TV is the shit. And uh, anyone that watches iDubs TV, you're tuning into iDubs. iDubs, 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 iDubs. Dude, this guy made a response video. My YouTube channel is going viral. LOL, I don't really have to do anything besides make one back clowning on him and make my shit go viral. Lusik, 3,600 views is not viral, you fucking idiot. And uh, as far as the clowning's concerned, so far it hasn't happened. You've said my name seven times and you called me the shit. That's the opposite of clowning. I uh, want to touch base on a topic today. Uh, I want to touch base on Lucic Diamond Eyes. He's a one-trick pony. And uh, I just want to say that he's a jackass. Yeah, Gaylord Jackass. This is sort of a bad way for you to start a video, Lucic, is complimenting me and calling yourself a jackass. Because I, I know you're being sarcastic about it all, but the problem is everyone who's watching the video fucking agrees with it. They think that you're a gay lord jackass. And uh, I think, uh, I think Idubs lives with his mom and dad. He lives in his basement and he uh, got picked on in high school. Mommy and daddy. Mom and dad. Probably got bullied a little bit. He uh, got picked on in high school. Idubs lives with his mom and dad. Because he lives he in his in basement and he uh, got picked on in high school. Maybe the well, and he's a one trick teacher. You know that, too. that is as bad as the video gets. He says that I live with my parents in the basement and that I was bullied in high school. Let's give it up for Lucic Gaylord Jackass Eyes. Very good. You really know how to entertain, motherfucker. So I think we're both three trick, four trickers. And I think we can uh, make some shit happen. I don't want to make any shit happen with you, Lucic. I don't want to collaborate or anything like that. But here's what I am willing to do. I'm willing to be your agent. I'll only take 5%. And I've already made you a sponsorship video. We're going to send it around to different uh, comedy places, maybe the Laugh Factory. I know last time you went there, it didn't work out so well. You think that I just came down here just to put my fucking right hand down my pants and start jerking myself off right in front of your fucking comedy place at the Laugh Factory? Huh, faggot? Huh, faggot? You think so, faggot? You wanna see fucking psycho, faggot? Things are gonna be different this time, Lucic. With me as your agent and this awesome sponsorship video that I cooked up, I think we'll get you a gig in no time. Lucas and I met in high school. He was a pretty fun guy to be around. Everyone liked his personality. He was really outgoing. But then, uh, one day, things started to change. He uh, was smoking a lot more. At first, it was just every now and again at a football game. Then it turned in every week. Then every day. It became so bad, I, c I couldn't understand what he was saying half the time. Every time we tried to get him some help, he'd just push back even more. He'd say things like, You don't understand. This is Grime Step. To this day, we still don't know what he meant by Grime Step. All we know is that Lucas destroyed his body because of peer pressure and a lack of self-awareness. It's 15 years later, and I'm still looking after Lucas. He's lost almost all ability to communicate. It's difficult to get any work done because if I leave him alone, he might hurt himself. But when I bring him with me, he wants to talk to the people that he sees. But of course, they're freaked out. They don't, they don't know that he has a problem. Bottom line, if you have a loved one who has this disease, don't wait. Put them down immediately. End their suffering. You seem a little bent out of shape about me calling you a gay lord jackass, so I'll read some comments that might make you feel a little bit better about yourself. Please die. Why haven't you killed yourself yet? You look fatter, balder, and more like a fucking degenerate here. It's like I'm watching a serial killer molester record his manifesto. Does anyone else feel dirty after watching this? I'm going to go take a cold shower and scrub myself with a Brillo pad.
That was well said. That noise you make from your throat that you call beatboxing just sounds like you've sucked one too many big black dicks. Yeah, he has a little bit of cum stuck in his throat. That's kind of fucked up, guys. Pro tip, when recording videos with a smartphone, do it with the phone sideways so you don't get those shit black lines to the side on YouTube. Well, rumba chumba, it, it does no good because this fucker will upload videos sideways, okay? Like, he, he probably thought that if he tilted it sideways, the video would upload sideways. I'm doing a response video once I buy a phone. Lost my phone this last week. Whatever happened to that $420 of fucking gold that's gonna get us to Hollywood? Did you not make it to Hollywood? Well, that's a surprise. Did Bobby sell it for a new best friend? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Schizophonic TV. This is Lucic Diamond Eyes. <coughs> Dude, he literally cannot help the beatboxing. It's like his Tourette's. Uh, acting, comedy, and beatboxing. Scroll down and uh, check out my new channel. Thank you very much. Check out his new channel that he made in 2011. 71k on my video, this guy uploaded it to a spot called Reddit Ya. I don't want to burst your bubble there, Lucy, but the spot that it was uploaded to on Reddit was R Cringe. Because it was cringy. A hummingbird just flew over my balcony just now, I dubs. I just wanted to clarify that. Oh, thanks for clearing that up, Lucic. That hummingbird wanted to land on your bird's nest of a head. I want to give this fat, balding 30-year-old some advice about how to street beatbox. Number one, do not enter people's place of business and annoy the fuck out of the customers and the employees there. Two, put your fedora on the ground to catch change. Do not wear it on your head. Three, do not open and close with dubstep beatbox. It sounds fucking annoying, and if, if you want to have it in there, have it in there briefly. Do not open and close with it, you fucking idiot. You, it's, it's tantamount to starting every conversation by yelling at someone. Practice your normal beatboxing, and maybe you can add some dubstep variation here and there. But all you're doing is you're fucking dubstep beatboxing, and it sounds abysmal. Thank you for making such a shitty response video, Lucic Gaylord Eyes. I know that you grew up in the suburbs, had life, great, mommy, daddy, maybe divorced. Whew, that was the biggest shake of your life. The hardest probably thing you've ever faced. But other than that, life must have been a piece of freaking cake. You maybe got bullied a little bit because you was a nigger faggot. Okay, that's as far as I memorized too. I think it's... That is a pretty good skit on it. I think iDubs lives with his parents. You know, just like I do. I live with my mom out here in Irvine, California. I know you're a little slow, Lucic, so I'm gonna try to make this as clear as possible. When you wanna clown someone, you don't throw an insult their way and then make the insult apply to yourself as well. You don't say, this guy's a faggot. I'm a faggot too. This guy's a gay lord jackass. I'm also a gay lord jackass. You see, your insult no longer holds any weight. Accept it.